would have the feeling and, and subscribe to it, even though you cannot prove it, we are online. In other words, the realm of form expresses itself in the empirical world, in, in physical structures, and in our mind, in concepts. And for example, as the materialism of classical science is fading away, and the idealism of quantum theory, the non-material, becomes important, industry changes from a matter-based business to an in information technology business. This, that's not accidental. It's, that's not we doing it. You're right. There is a feeling like of guidance, if you are positive. And I'm, I must think it's positive guidance. So the non-empirical realm manifests itself in the physical principles that we need to construct our body and in the metaphysical principles that we need to construct our mind. And, the, you know, there are now these ideas that this field, like Jung's field of, uh, of archetypes, is interactive. The archetypes, as Jung describes them, they're non-empirical. They have the potential to appear in our mind. Well, why have two different realms of of potential forms, I'm sure it's, it's just one field. So if you want to, the quantum potentiality is the unconscious of physical reality. Quantum physics is the psychology of reality, and psychology is the physics of consciousness. Mm -hmm.